Zombies Fat vs. Slow. In this video I want to show the difference between fat versus slow zombies and the validity of the two. The first I want to look at is the quality of the story. Because so far, zombies completely confined to fiction. Now, when you consider the fast zombie, it does work as far as the quality of the story. Fast zombies are scarier. They're also harder to kill. Second, let's look at neurology. Now, I found some really weird, messed up experiments done in the 1970s on living cats. What they would do, literally, is surgically remove parts of the cat's brain to see how much it would defect the cat, or even kill it. Now, keep in mind that a cat's brain is definitely less complicated than humans, but it has all the same basic parts. Cerebellum, medulla oblongata, all that sort of stuff. Now, these scientists, as they con continued to remove the brain, at one point they actually removed the cerebellum completely, that's the thought process of the brain, leaving essentially just the brain stem. Then they sewed the cat, put it on a treadmill, and it was still able to walk. Now, that cat, though able to walk with no higher brain function, proves that walking is essentially a reflex action. Now, running, however, is a little more complicated. You have to be able to know your center of gravity, you have to identify your terrain, things like that. But still, the ability to run is not considered a higher brain function. I mean, the most basic mosquito can move quickly. Plus, there is the concept of what disease is most like the zombie germ. In this case, I'm thinking of rabies. That's my opinion, keep in mind. Rabies heavily damages the brain. Someone loses all sense of self, and it's actually 100% fatal without treatment. Now you take rabies, no higher brain function. Those animals, any animal, humans, dogs, whatever, are still able to move and move very quickly, proving that a damaged brain can still move at a high rate of speed. Even though zombies don't show or exude the normal rate of decay, in most cases, sometimes they do. The examples of this is Dawn of the Dead from 2004. At least by the remember that that movie by the end of the fl flick, the zombies were just falling apart. You know they were what's called a class three zombie. Muscles, bones sticking out, everything, and yet they were still operating at top speed. Now unless they're magical, that's just not physically possible. And a magic zombie. So in conclusion, fast zombies don't work, provided that you, the criteria means that they fa are fast for indefinitely. Now, in the book I wrote, Year Zero, the fresh zombie, now keep in mind, fresh zombie does not have torn muscle fiber. Presumably, they didn't have torn muscle fiber when they were turned. They actually start out fast while they're fresh, tear the muscle fiber, break down that tissue, and then progressively slow over time until they reach that sort of slumpy quick step that we're all familiar with from the 1970 George Romero zombie. In conclusion, fast zombies don't work provided that you, the criteria means that they fa are fast for indefinitely. Now, in the book I wrote, Year Zero, the fresh zombie, now keep in mind, fresh zombie does not have torn muscle fiber. Presumably, they didn't have torn muscle fiber when they were turned. They actually start out fast while they're fresh, tear the muscle fiber, break down that tissue, and then progressively slow over time until they reach that sort of slumpy quick step that we're all familiar with from the 1970 George Romero zombie. So I'm sorry to say when it comes to the fast zombie, it's one strike and you're out. Fast zombies don't work. 